Hello, my name is Jennifer Mahan, and this is my MIT 885 practicum, and I am going to take you on a tour of my professional e-portfolio. I'm starting right up here at the top with my candidate info, and this is my technology philosophy. I actually took the technology philosophy that I submitted to get into my master's in instructional technology program, and I kind of adapted it to fit the needs of my district, to fit you know everything that I've learned throughout this class, and how I would change my technology philosophy. So here is that. Next, I have my professional resume, and the good thing is, is I kept this pretty updated throughout my career, so I hadn't had to do much work to it. Um, I am currently a technology integration specialist and a kindergarten through fifth grade STEM teacher, so this just gives you all of my experience, my achievements, and contact information, as well as references. The next part is my activity evidence, and this is probably my favorite part. It's the majority of the work that I have created throughout this class, or things I've learned, and how I'm using them now. So my PDP plan was probably the most challenging part to do. Um, I created this back in February, and my school district did not actually have one that I could have, a recent one that I could kind of use. So I took the one from 2011 and adapted it. Um, and if you see, my main goal was for educators to be comfortable using um, Google and increase student engagement using technology. But with everything that's going on in Kansas right now, I would probably have to adapt this to use it next year, as most of my educators are now pretty good at using Google Classroom and Seesaw as their learning platforms as we're using remote learning. Um, we use a lot of this Google here, Drive, Gmail, Docs, Slides, Drawings, Classrooms, Keep, um, Seesaw, Flipgrid as our plan and our continuous learning plan. So that's definitely things I would have to adapt for next year. But this is my plan. And it talks about how we would, um, what our goals are, how we're going to achieve this, and how we're going to make sure we can see the growth and how educators are doing. Next, I have my professional training. Um, and these were live training videos. The first one was teaching third graders to use Google Drawings. It's the first time they used this. And I was training students how to create a meme using Google Drawings. Next was training on images, videos, and games. And this was a way, um, for educators to identify digital resources and how they could switch from paper pencil to engaging online activities. Um, the last one was a formative assessment training using Flipgrid and this one is also for educators and I focused on increasing student voice, um, how they can use this for formative assessment and how they can use Flipgrid as a form of augmented reality. Next, I have my professional presentations. And the first one, this is what I used for my live training videos with students. Um, and it was my Google Drawings presentation. I used Google Slides to create this. And next, I have my Free Education Rights Privacy Act. And I used Powtoon to create this presentation. And I actually shared this with educators on um, what FERPA is and why it's important. And last, I have my Flipgrid presentation that I actually use for my live training. And one thing I really like about this is that I start off with augmented reality right here by having educators scan this QR code. So I come out, pop out, come to life, and it kind of gets them excited about what we are learning. Next, I have my extra resources. This is another um, live training video. This is the Ditch That Worksheet Google Slides presentation that I used for um, my live training. And then I have a Flipgrid tutorial here that I created, as well as a quizzes tutorial that I created, and both of those are using Screencast-O-Matic. Also, under here I have my article summary. The first one I did was Google in Education, and I felt that, that really connected to my PDP plan, um, because the big push was Google. And now, especially with everything going on, Google in Education is really one of the main platforms we are using to uh, meet the learning needs of students. Next, I have Google Classroom, which is actually the main platform we're using, along with Seesaw. So that kind of relates to my PDP plan. And last is electronic textbooks. And I felt like this fit because we are looking at a new math curriculum um, and whether or not e-textbooks would be beneficial or not. So this kind of explores those options. The last thing I have here is my reflection. And this is my transfer transference reflection. And this basically goes over everything that I have learned throughout these classes. Um, it talks about my journey, what went really well, what was challenging, um, and what I liked about it. So the video I'm obviously recording now. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my site, and I really liked getting to show you about it. Thank you.